Alright, bunch of magic time. Playing some blue white monks in modern. And we'll give this a shot. Tap lands are a bit annoying, but I think it's fine. Glacial Forgers will come into play on tap, so next turn we can like myth plus serum visions, maybe. Bloodfell caves. Interesting. Well, that's Glacial Fortress. Get down Myth Realized. And Serum Visions to get things set up for the future. Um, second Myth Realized. I think we'll just keep both of these. Pass the turn. So next turn we can Myth Realized raise the alarm. Then the following turn we can Monastery Mentor Opt. Wrench Mind. Ugh. Okay. Uh, just kidding. Monastery Mentor down. And I guess we just lose our opt as well. That wasn't ideal. The good news is we still get to play another Myth Realized. Trigger Myth Realized. And then Raise the Alarm can double trigger. So we might still be okay. Mountain for our opponent. I don't know what our opponent's doing. Maybe some sort of budget-friendly 8-rack? More wrench mines. Well, run out raise the alarm. Pump our myths. Get some soldiers. Discard, raise the alarm. Opponent passes. We draw out planes. Well, play the planes. I guess we just go beat down. If our opponent has lightning bolt, we can just add a counter to myth realized. But we're not going to add a counter unless they bolt. Because that would give us a chance to get blown out with lightning bolt if we just add a counter right now. All right, opponent takes it down to 16. We pass. We can just start putting counters on our miss, which I guess is is fine. It's the slow way to do it, but it's still a way to do it. Opponent. Discard's not going to do much anymore. We are officially empty-handed. Ugh. Ensnaring bridge. Huh. Interesting. Well, put a counter on myth realized. So this isn't a budget deck. They must be playing Bloodfell Caves because they want Bloodfell Caves. Fire up Myth Realized. Fire up Myth Realized. Go attacking. All right, Dismember's a Myth. Well, still go attacking. I don't know how this is going to work with the Ensnaring Bridge out. Make some 1-1s. One I mean, the fact that we have 1-1s one are good, it does mean our opponent has to stay constantly empty-handed. If we can get them low enough, maybe we can keep them with, like, a Thought Seize left in hand that they can't really cast and eventually win with our 1-1s. One our Ravenous Rats. We don't really have a way to just get Bridge off the table main deck, though, unfortunately. Ah, uh, Bridge. Opponent passes. Well, go attacking. Hit our opponent. Down to three. Uh-oh. Sudden death. All right, hit our opponent down to two. Or four. Four, two. Uh, pass the turn. I don't know. I don't know if we can get in these last points. I guess, in theory? <laughs> Lava Board Muse. This is the craziest eight-rack deck I've ever seen. I'll pass the turn. Not discard. We need another creature. Oh my goodness, Blighting! Ah, oh, there goes our shared discovery. Oh, we needed our opponent to whiff there. Well, let's opt. Island to the bottom. Pass the turn. Opponent finds a land. Man, that shared discovery would have went a long way. Put a counter on myth. Man, are we going to lose to... Jankrack? <laughs> Draw land, pass the turn. Ah! Uh! Opponent fides. Not another blightning. Coligan's command. Well, we'll discard an island. Oh, that shared discovery would have done it. Drop to three. Field of Ruin doesn't help, and we scoop it up. Wow. Wow! All right. Well. We didn't really come planning for Jankrak. What do we do? Let's go down Mana Leaks for Negates. We just don't have a great way to... Maybe go down Apostle's Blessing. They have, like, Sudden Shock Removal. Go up Mana Leak. 
Yeah, we did not really... I guess we can bring an Echoing Truce over Vapor Stags. At least Vapor uh, Echoing Truce can bounce. I guess that's our best answer. Let's try it like that. I mean, I guess the good news is we just got to bounce it for one turn and we should be able to win. So having an Echoing Truth being drawn into eventually should go a pretty long ways. We get to play first. All right, we'll try this. We got Copters. We don't have a way to loot yet. And we have all islands. Well, let's serve Visions. Vapor Snake bottom, raise the alarm top. Pass the turn. Tap land for our opponent. We'll play the planes and get down copter number one. Second copter is actually kind of nice because it's a way we can stop a wrench mine or minimize the damage of a wrench mine. Swamp for our opponent and passes. How do we want to do this? Let's play an island. And I think we're going to pass for now and plan on using raise the alarm on our opponent's end step. Swamp. Our heaven is rats. Well, discard the second copter. Run out, raise the alarm. More raise the alarms. Well, crew up our copter. Go attacking. We get to loot. Discard the planes. Hit our opponent. Opponent's gonna block. Yep. Oh, we can't trigger Mentor right away. Let's just pass and hold everything. Mountain for our opponent. There's the bridge. Well, raise the alarm. Play Mentor. Mentor, Crew, Copter. Attack with everything. We get to loot. I think we discard the island. Hit our opponent. Down to 11. Pass the turn. So we got a Smuggler's Copter to discard still. Gemstone Mine. This is a spicy brew. Uh, pyroclasm. Not ideal. Opponent passes. Well, play Mentor. Crew Copter. Opponent kills our Mentor. Lots of removals. Get in with a Copter. Or not. Pass the turn. Oh boy, we need some 1-1s. One -ones. We need some 1-1s. One -ones. Opponent plays a Mountain. And passes. Well, let's pass the turn. Despise. Well, that doesn't do much. That is probably the worst discard spell our opponent could have. I don't know how our opponent's managing to be very budget-looking, but then playing a super expensive ensnaring bridge. Very odd mix. It's making it hard to figure out this deck. If there was no ensnaring bridge, then I would assume it's just like a, a budget version of... 8 rack, but the fact that there is ensnaring bridge makes me think that it's not that. There's wrench mind. So we will discard the copter we've been holding for this purpose. Now let's opt. Field of ruin to the bottom. More lands. Alright. Pass the turn. We need a creature. Opponent passes. Vapor snag. Well pass the turn. The shared discovery could be great if we can find creatures, token makers. Our best draw is actually probably our Legion's Landing. Another land, pass the turn. We are going to keep holding stuff. Our deck is not very expensive, and holding stuff does give us a buffer for what our opponent's trying to do. Lavaborn Muse. Well, that's a ways away from triggering. Mana Leak. Well, I guess we got to start playing lands because we have seven cards in hand. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Swamp. Goes attacking. Well, I guess we take three for now. Down to 17. Opponent passes. All right, there's a Myth. Let's play Myth Realized. That's pretty good. Um, uh, play a Planes so we can activate Myth if we need to. Pass the turn. Opponent... Gets in with Lava Born Muse. Well, we'll take it for now. Down to 14. Put a counter on Myth. Hmm. Yeah, let's just untap. Play Serum Visions. Get a counter on Myth. 
There's Raziel Arm. Let's put the two lands to the bottom. And pass the turn. Opponent goes attacking. Well, let's raise the alarm. Fire up Myth. Block Lava Born. Rending Volley. Okay. Take zero. Opponent passes. There's Gather the Town's Folk. That's one of the things we are looking for. Now we get to gather the townsfolk, share discovery, to draw a bunch of cards. Play Myth Realized. Play Prairie Stream. Pass the turn. We're getting pretty close to being able to close this out. Opponent's going to bolt our face. All right, down to 11. Uh, opponent goes to end step, untaps, swamp, uh, let's vapor snag, lava born muse, there's lava born muse, and anything, nothing, nothing, negate is pretty good here as well, well let's crew our copter, fire up myth, Realize. Actually, no. Go to combat. Attack with copter. Loot with copter. Alright. Opponent kills copter, but that's kind of okay, because we get to loot. Discard the planes. And we will just pass. Opponent's down to three cards in hand. Shrieking affliction. Alright. Well, we're way away from that being good. This bridge is definitely annoying, but I think we can beat it. Opponent. Attacks, doesn't attack, attacks. Well, let's opt. Get a counter on our myth. Definitely keeping shared discovery. And uh, can we take the damage? It's risky. Let's block with myth realized. And, yep. We'll just let it go. Just jumping. We win the long game. Opponent does have removal in hand. That tap and untap makes it pretty clear. Languish. Yeah, we better negate that. We want to be able to fire off this shared discovery. Terror. Uh, okay, mana leak. Whew, we got there. All right. That's what we're, we're just doing all this because we want to be able to share discovery. So let's draw three. Play Myth Realized. Play Serum Visions. Get a counter. Uh, Prairie Stream Bottom, Op Top. Play Serum Visions. Get a counter. Bottom and... Do we even need Monastery Mentor? I don't think so. Let's put it to the bottom. And we'll just pass. I think we're set up to win next turn, most likely. Opponent's only got two cards in hand. This has been a surprisingly close, hard game. Snaring Bridge. It is a super obnoxious magic card. Coligan's Command, going to try to get back a Ravenous Rats, kill a 1-1, one, one. all right, sure, gets back Ravenous Rats, plays Ravenous Rats, yep, we will discard extra land, let's raise the alarm, make some more tokens, Nimbus Maze, well, opt, I guess we don't just win yet? Gather the townsfolk. Put on top. Let's uh, gather the townsfolk. Get a counter. And pass the turn. More ensnaring bridges. Sure. Opponent passes. Well, echoing truth, ensnaring bridges. Get a counter. Field of Ruin, well, fire up Myth Realized. 
Go attacking. Opponent blocks. And blocks. And dismembers. And I'll put a lore counter so we keep our myth. Well, this is it. If our opponent can draw a way to make us discard Echoing Truth before they play Ensnaring Bridges, we could still lose. There's Ensnaring Bridge. And Ensnaring Bridge. All right, we're good. We got there. We got there. Rending Volley. Yup. Well, we still have Lethal. So we just Echoing Truth and Snaring Bridges. Get a counter. Oh, boy. Well, that was a lot closer than I wanted it to be. But Ensnaring Bridge. I do not understand what's going on in our opponent's deck. I do not even understand a little. Let's go down Mana League for Negate. What is happening? What is happening here? Um, Goodness. Yeah, I guess we just run it back. We could go up Spell Pierce. Maybe we Spell Pierce for Vapor Snag. Because it's not a budget deck. <laughs> Our opponent's playing some really expensive cards. So it's not just a budget deck. It's just a crazy deck. All right. Well, this hand is reasonable. We got to fight through a ton of removal, I'm sure. But all right. Duress, that's actually a discard spell that works. Opponent's got options. Take Serum Visions. Interesting. Well, planes go. Evolving Wilds. Opponent cracks it. Swamp. And passes. Well, that's Glacial Fortress and Copter. Pass the turn. Gemstone Mine and Wrench Mine. Well, we will discard Copter. Uh, yeah, let's gather the townsfolk. Crew up Copter. Get in for three. We will loot. Discard what? I guess planes? Discard a planes. Hit our opponent for three. Down to 17. Plain Nimbus Maze. I'm a... Oh, no. This doesn't add white. Oops. All right, pass the turn. Probably should have played the planes. Nimbus Maze, yeah, doesn't add the mana we wanted. Oh, well. Despise. Not a great discard spell against our deck. Opponent does get to see our hand, though. Opponent passes. Well, let's play Mithrealized. Crew up our copter. Go attacking. Loot. Discard the island. Opponent down to 13. Pass the turn. Another swamp for our opponent. Come on, no bridges. Languish is fine. Lavaborn Muse. Well, let's raise the alarm. <laughs> we take damage. Hmm. Well, crew up our copter. Get in with Copter. Loot. Discard Field of Ruin. Hit our opponent to 10. Play another Myth Realized. And let's pass. See what our opponent can do. Come on, no bridges. No bridges, please. Opponent. Getting frisky with Lava Born. All right. We'll take it. You got us. Down to 14. Do they have Languish? All right, there's Languish. Sure. Kills everything. So let's opt. Get some counters. Can we just win here? I don't think we can quite win. Hmm. What is our plan? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we get a land, eight, nine, we could put our opponent to one. Well, let's just keep negate. Fire up Myth Realized. Crew up our copter. Get in for three. Loot. Discard. I guess the island. Hit our opponent to seven. Leave up negate. Pass the turn. Now, in theory, we just negate the bridge and then we can win next turn. But we'll see. Assuming our opponent finds a bridge. Lavaborn Muse. All right. 
But let's opt. Get some counters on our mists. I feel like we're na navigating this matchup pretty well. Smuggler's Copter to the bottom. We draw Spell Pierce. Well, fire up Mithrealized. Play a Planes. Fire up Mithrealized. Crew up our Copter with the smaller one. Go attacking. This forces the Chump Block. We get to loot. Uh, we'll pitch gather the townsfolk. Opponent jumps. And now with negate up, we should be good. There's the bridge. But we have the spell pierce. And that should lock it up. Oh boy. Oh boy. We came super close to losing to one of the craziest... I don't know what's going on. It's not a budget deck. It's just a, a crazy build of 8-rack, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It's like some budget stuff, but then there's Colgate's Command and Bridges and Fetchlands. I have no clue what's going on, but wow, we got there. We got there somehow against uh, Jankrak. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, take a second and click that like button down below. It's a great way to help support the channel for free. And you can find the next video in the playlist right here.